For many students at UT, finding housing is largely based on money. It had to be cheap. Uh, I'm moving to East Austin because it's cheap. Regardless of how cheap an apartment may be, some students like Kate are conscious of being green and they want to stay that way if the cost is right. It's important to me, but I'm also realistic about what else that entails. So I can't really afford to live in a new building, which it would be, um, you know, that has solar panels or has any other um, features that might come along with that sort of thing. There are many new green technologies being introduced on the market today. But Professor Jules Elkins, an environmental health professor, knows that going green isn't just about technology. So much about green building is, I know you're focusing on, on technology, but is about just good building, is orientation of a building, materials, um, insulation is the biggest thing that you can do and do well to improve energy efficiency. The Elkins believes there are things students can do right now if they want to promote green technology and practice. We moved here recently from Illinois, and we lived in an older home, and we had central heat and central air conditioning, so if you wanted to heat up a room, you had to heat up the whole house. Our heating bills are about $700 a month, but with green building technology, you can get that same level for $50 a month. She wants students to push government officials to create legislation that would make financial incentives for not only homeowners and business owners, but also for renters. I think a big thing that you need to do is, I encourage all my students, is that we really need an activist student population. Austin is a leading city in the promotion of energy efficient buildings, and a shining example of this is the Austin Energy Green Building Program. We rated over 3 million square feet of commercial space last year. Representative and Patricia that House explains that this program mainly rates the energy efficiency of buildings and points out other achievements of the group. Our commercial program uh, reduced the demand on the Austin Energy um, generation capacity by 4.4 megawatts. Patricia says the carbon dioxide saved from that was about the same as planting 270,000 trees or taking 1,700 cars off the road. We also uh, diverted construction waste from our landfills. We diverted over 43,000 tons. This is about the same as the weight of 17,000 Ford F-150 pickup trucks. <laughs> is this a program that students support? It seems to come down to a question of familiarity. I've heard of it. I don't know what it is. So. You know, I, I really couldn't tell you if I didn't, since I don't know anything about it. Ultimately, students seem to care about being environmentally friendly, even if they can't incorporate new green building technology into their lifestyle. I ride my bike. I rarely drive. I, I recycle. I turn off the water when I shave my legs in the shower. And... Uh, I don't use water bottles. Well, maybe it's not going to be enough if we all recycle and save energy, but maybe it will be. And I'd hate to think that nobody takes the proper precautions to try and, you know, save the planet.